Hi everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's topic is something I'm so near and dear, very, very passionate about. I've spoken about this topic multiple times on our Facebook Lives. And I want to talk about this topic once again, because especially in the time period where we're all stuck at home, not doing what we potentially could be doing if we were outside, such as working, bringing home some money, being inspired by some lectures, if we go to some live lectures right now, we start to feel a little bit down emotionally. We start to feel like we're not really at our best position at this time. And those are very, very legitimate feelings. That's how people start to feel when they are stuck at home for more than a certain period of time. Because naturally, we're inclined to want to go out, spend some time, interact with people, and to do the best we can potentially do. And this brings me to the topic of today's talk, which is going to talk about striving and achieving our goals and turning them into reality. This topic is especially important for the young generation to listen to, for the teenagers and anybody who is in their early 20s or any age, of course, any age can listen to this, but especially the very young people in our generation should be able to listen to this in order to understand that the only barrier in achieving success and achieving your potential in life is you yourself. God is in control of the entire world. And yes, of course, God is the one that runs the world, but God wants each one of us to succeed. God gives us the utensils. He gives us whatever is necessary. When he sees that you want to do something with yourself, for example, you want to go to college to get a degree. You want to be able to be a wonderful mother to your children. You want to get into the best shape of your life. You want to take care of the way you look so that your health is going to improve. You want to have an amazing relationship with your in-laws or your friends. Whatever it is that you want to strive for, God is going to help you strive for that. Of course, he's always in the picture and we pray to him. And I don't want anybody to think that by themselves they can achieve their goals. That's not possible. God has to be in the picture. But once we've uh, achieved that and we understand that part, we move into part two. And that is focusing on ourselves. The number one barrier and why a person is not able to achieve their potential is what's up here. When you allow negative thoughts overcome your reality and your dreams and what you inspire in becoming, if you allow those thoughts to take over you, then you have failed yourself as an individual. We're going to go through some examples so that you understand what I'm referring to. For example, you have this inspiration to try to achieve some sort of a degree in a college. You want to go to law school, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a nurse, you want to be a teacher, you want to be a therapist, whatever it is that you want to achieve. And all of a sudden, there's going to be voices in your mind that are going to come and they're going to tell you how difficult it is for you to achieve that. You won't pass the interview. It's very, very hard because so many people try and they fail. You have children. You don't have enough financial support. It's very, very expensive. You're going to go into loans. There are going to be so many voices in your mind that are going to come and try to discourage you from achieving that dream. You're also going to realize that if you start to go through to that dream and you enter college and you get into that program, it's going to be a tough road ahead. All of a sudden, you're going to disconnect yourself from social interactions. You won't be able to have as many guests as you would like to have. You won't be able to have as many parties and go out with your friends the way you want to go out. You won't be able to do things for yourself because you're going to be so tied up in all your school studies. And that too is going to put this negative thought in your mind that maybe whatever you're putting your all your effort into is a waste of time. And that is the biggest failure. It's not the failure that we can't achieve our goal. The failure is you're going to allow all those negative voices inside of you take over and you are
are going to now no longer have that strong desire and willpower to achieve your dream. If your dream is going to be to lose weight and to get into better health and to look the best you've ever looked because you've neglected yourself, you've allowed yourself to be so busy taking care of everything else around you that all of a sudden you've noticed that you're not looking the best that you can look. Not because of everything else around you where people should look at you and compliment you, but for yourself. When you look in the mirror, you start to notice that you're not taking care of yourself for who you are supposed to be. If that happens and you put a commitment to yourself that now you want to start losing weight, you want to start taking care of your body so that you have the healthiest skin and the healthiest eyes and go for routine dental work and take care of your teeth because now you realize how much you've neglected that and you're going to start to think of all the hardships it involves you won't be able to have that chocolate chip cookie it's going to be very hard because now you have to exercise and what if you have to go to the gym but i don't want to go to the gym because i don't like to exercise and you're going to start to think about all the hardships and challenges that it entails to achieve that loss of weight, all of a sudden that desire is going to go away and you're no longer going to feel inspired to stick through that dream and that plan. If you have a plan, if building for yourself a house, you're in a small little apartment and you wanna move into a bigger space and you've realized that right now you're financially not there, it's very hard for you and you don't know how, how you're going to get there because how things just don't look that they're going to bring more money as is you're very tight. You're going to start to all of a sudden think to yourself that you're not capable of becoming a homeowner. And instead of realizing what can I do to help myself achieve my goal because there has to be a way, if there's a will, there's a way, then you're never going to achieve it. And you're going to let years go by. And when you reach an old age and you're going to look back, there's going to be so much regret because you're going to feel that you failed yourself. So instead of thinking to yourself, I'm never going to achieve that house. I'm always going to be in debt. I hardly make money to pay my bills right now. So how am I going to make enough to um, save up enough to buy a house? Instead of having those thoughts in your mind, you're going to re-channel and redirect your thinking process. You're going to think to yourself, I can help myself achieve my goal. It may take some time, but I'm going to have a plan in place. I'm going to realize for myself, my long-term goal is to save enough money to buy for myself a house or to renovate the house that I'm in right now. What can I do to help my long-term goal? Unfortunately, we are guilty of allowing ourselves to succumb to the short-term pleasures around us. When we go to the store and we're looking around and we see this beautiful dress that's hanging on the rack and I'm the first person to say I'm so guilty of over shopping and buying things I don't necessarily need. We buy that dress. We temporarily feel that that dress has made us feel so happy and all of a sudden we like how we look and we go and we show it to our family and to our friends and we start to feel like we're in style, but that is short-term happiness. We took that money, which we could have invested and put into this little piggy bank that we have, and on that piggy bank, it's going to say, for my future home, we took that $25, $30, we spent it onto that dress, which we don't need because there's no occasion that we have to go to. Or we have plenty of other outfits in our closet, which all we have to do is rearrange the top or the bottom of it or change the head coverings or the pieces of jewelry to make it look nice and fresh and something new. And we spent it and we let that money go into the air. So instead of thinking of, I can't reach my dream, I can't achieve my goal, focus on what can I do to help reach that dream and goal? How can I make my setbacks, things that set me back into my building blocks? What can I do to take every challenge that I'm faced with and make that challenge a building block, something I could utilize 
to grow and to achieve success. Every person who is successful around you, they did not become successful overnight. They didn't have tools that you don't have. I'm sure they had similar tools that what you have, or maybe whatever they don't have, you have, or whatever you don't have, they have. But whatever the situation is, number one thing to remember, never give up. It's going to be tough, but stick through it. Continue to feel inspired. Continue to feel motivated. And eventually, you're going to achieve your dream and become successful. I hope this was helpful. Press the subscribe button below. Like it if you liked it. And if you found this video to be inspirational, once again, thank you so much. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. And I hope to see you next time.